morning guys it's becky bamboo it's tuesday september 21st 2010 and um i just thought i'd come and give you an update um about how my pool time was last night um thank you guys so much for all of the wonderful comments and emails you sent me from my videos yesterday um you guys are fabulous you make me feel so so blessed in this whole process um, so many of you were so supportive and um, I definitely had a hard time with some of those videos yesterday and it makes it easier to look back at them now and look at all the, the nice comments you guys left and it, it's just it's nice to have that kind of support from such a big community of people so I have to say thank you first and foremost to you guys because you, you know you're awesome but you need to hear it all the time anyway so um, I thought I would do an update today so I can tell you about my exciting night. Um, I went back to water aerobics like I told you guys. Um, I met my girlfriend in the locker room and uh, she was there ahead of me. <clears throat> I was walking down this hallway that's in the locker room and um, she glances up and looks right at me and I so I smile and then she looks back down and she goes back about her business and all of a sudden she whips her head up and she's like Oh my God, what the hell happened to you? I didn't even recognize you. And so we had a nice long chat about my weight loss. And um, she, she was telling me that the pictures I have on Facebook just don't do justice to seeing me in person. And um, that made me feel so good. And when I started to kind of undress and, you know, I was in my swimming suit. And she's like, you're so tiny under your clothes. I cannot believe how little you got. And so that, it was just a good night. It made me feel really good. But um, I wanted to share a couple of things that happened that um, I didn't even like kind of think about until afterwards. Um, at the end of our aerobics class, we always do like a section of stretching, which, you know, is nice and always feels good. Um, one of the stretches we do is the stretch where you um, bring your foot up behind your, by your butt and you grab it with your hand and kind of stretch out your hamstring. Well, I could never do that before. Um, I always kind of like faked it. I just would bring my leg up and kind of put my arm there and I was never even very close to being able to grab my foot. I even tried one time to kind of push my foot against the wall with my body to try to like push it up where I could reach it and I still couldn't reach it. And that was always like, um, I felt so fake doing that, you know, but I didn't know what else to do during that stretch because um, I just couldn't reach it and everybody else could. Well, last night we were doing our stretches and, um, I didn't even think about it. I just picked my foot up and it landed in my hand and I was like, Oh my God. So I think I was just like grinning ear to ear during that whole time of stretching out my legs because, um, that was something I could not do pre-surgery and it's easy now. It's like, it's supposed to be, you know? Um, and it's just so, it's so fantastic to, um, to, ha to ex be able to experience things like that. And, um, it's things that you don't even think about or that you kind of like take for granted, I guess you could say. Um, the other one that was really struck me is after my aerobics class, um, I kind of hung out and I talked to my friend for a while and the instructor because, you know, we hadn't seen the, I haven't seen these people in uh, quite a while because our pool's been closed for a couple months and I hadn't gone um, for a while before that because of surgery. Um, you know, I, I wasn't allowed in the water until one month post-op and so, um, like right at the time I could have gotten back into the pool, the pool closed for, um, they repainted and resurfaced and, um, gutted our locker rooms and all this stuff. And so it's been a long while since I've been there. And <laughs> the instructor, it was so funny. She was like, um, she's like, you cut all your hair off. I'm like, yeah, I did. She's like, you look so good. It looks really cute on you. It's like, it's just really cute. And I'm like, it's not even styled. I just had it, you know, like this, where it was kind of like blah looking. And uh, anyway, she's like, you look a lot different. Did you do something different? And um, I just started laughing. I said, yeah, I've lost 100 pounds since you saw me. And she's like, well, it hasn't been that long. Oh, my God, what did you do? So I was kind of explaining, well, I had surgery and I'm, you know, I've lost these hundred pounds in the last basically 12 or really 13 weeks. And, um, she was just really shocked. And 
So it's a lot of fun to run into people or to see people who had, they haven't seen me since before surgery. And um, for them to really like be um, flabbergasted at how different I look, um, that was a lot of fun. <clears throat> and then, so after I hung out and talked for a while, um, my husband met up with me at the pool and we decided to do some lap swimming. Um, so I got into the, we have two pools, so I had to go to the big pool because that's where the lap swimming was. And um, so I went into the big pool and when I was done, I was getting out and there's a ladder. The ladders are not like, um, like the rungs are kind of just like concrete part of the wall. And then like at the top kind of outside of the pools where like the two little like curved bars are that you would walk through always before in the past like I'd walk up the steps and I'd have to walk around the bars because I couldn't fit through them and um, I probably could have if I turned sideways but I was always just so embarrassed to do that because it's you know kind of weird um, and last night when I crawled out of the pool I walked right through those and it was like oh my gosh I can fit through them um, just little things these are little things but um, in the end, really for me, like those are the things that mean the most in this whole process. You know, like it feels fantastic to know that I'm a hundred pounds lighter than I was 12 weeks ago. But at the same time, the little stuff is what gets me. Like it's the little stuff that has me smiling and has me grinning to myself and gets me thinking like, oh my gosh, life is really, it really is different now. And, um, that's the stuff that's an amazing feeling and that's the stuff I like sharing with you guys because it's the non-scale stuff that really gets you and people who are still pre-op I just um I I just want to share all this because I know when you start your journey on this um on this wild roller coaster ride that it is um you are also going to be equally amazed at like the little things that you don't think about you know like getting in a booth and not touching the table and um you know, when I sit in my Jeep and I have several inches between my belly and the steering wheel and um, I just, it seems like it's ever changing that I'm noticing places that I am or like sitting in cars that um, I would have been extremely uncomfortable in before or chairs that I couldn't use to sit in. Um, my mom and my brother both have these like wicker chairs in their house and I could not sit in them before they were too narrow and I was always afraid because they were wicker that I was just going to like sit in it and it would just collapse or something and um, over the weekend I discovered I could sit in them quite comfortably and I did at both at both at my mom's and at my um, sister-in-law's house and it was just like those are the things that really 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 get to me I don't know and so there I just feel like it's important to come on here and share it with everybody because um, I want to encourage everybody to look for those things as you go through your journey because um, once you really start to see that and you take it in, it's like those are the things that are going to mean the most. Um, you know, the, the scale victories are good too, but it's that non-scale daily living things that, that make all of the difference. Um, the furniture in my house is huge. Like we have these seat and a half chairs and um, before I kind of like needed a seat and a half basically to sit in comfortably. And now I feel like it's like such a big chair and it's, I love it. I just love that feeling like um, I'm shrinking. I know I'm shrinking and laying in bed and I don't, and I have space. Like uh, we have a king size bed, but at my mom and dad's house, when we, when we stay there, my husband and I share a queen. When I was at my heaviest, that queen felt like a full. It was. It felt very small to me. And now when we're there, like uh, I just noticed such a difference laying next to him and um, in a queen. And now, obviously, the king feels even bigger, which is really nice because I'm one of these that I don't like to be like touched too much while I'm sleeping. I like to have my own space. So, um, yeah, the king is really nice now. Um, so yeah, I guess that's really it. It was just, a, it was a good night. So I ended up doing a, basically um, an hour of aerobics and then we spent between 30 and 35 minutes in the pool doing laps. And so I'm pretty tired today. <laughs> um, actually, I took a mental health day today because uh, 
I'm, I'm really wicked tired from all this overtime and I think I just really needed a break from it more than anything. Um, but my arms are dead tired from, we did a lot of arm work in the aerobics class, which is kind of unusual because in the past we didn't do a lot of that, which um, I would like to see more of because that's, um, these flabby wings are um, definitely going to be pro problematic for me. So um, I was thrilled about it and um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes from here. Um, so me and the hubby took a hooky day today and I think we're going to go um, to the Y this afternoon. Um, Biggest Loser starts tonight for those of you who are interested um, you got to check it out if you haven't watched it. I'm a regular watcher. I love it. Um, it inspires me every year. It, do, it never fails. So I think this year will be really fun for me um, because I hope that it keeps me motivated to work even harder than I already am while I'm at the gym. And I think it will. Um, so I would like to be at home tonight so that I can watch The Biggest Loser. Um, usually we DVR it, which is fine. Um, you know, that's what we'll have to do most of the time because that's kind of our gym time um, in the evening, like at the time the show's on. But it would be nice to watch the first episode live, I think. So um, anyway, I guess that's it for me today. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I have not watched videos all week. So <laughs> I'm sorry if you haven't been hearing from me. I apologize. Um, I'll try to get caught up sometime this week and um, you guys will hear from me. So I hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Have a great day. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.